Welcome back to the video blog. Adam Daniel Mazet is my name, PMD for Hire.com, your PMD, producer of marketing and distribution. Alex Munoz was a recent guest at the Film Courage radio show. You know Film Courage, filmcourage.com, you've heard of it before. David Brannan, Karen Warnin, indie film community, Los Angeles, ring a bell. Alex Munoz is a guy, he's a filmmaker with a great reel, by the way, just check him out. A-L-E-K-S, Munoz, M-U-N-O-Z. Alex is a guy who works with at-risk youth. Basically, he helps at-risk youth integrate themselves back into the community. He helps nurture the talent of at-risk youth. At-risk youth, for example, that have been incarcerated for various crimes and whatnot. Talented kids that can act, that can direct, that can shoot stuff. Basically, using his film talents and pressing them into service to help do something, to help do a solid for the community. Now, Alex today asked at the Film Courage Facebook fan page, that's facebook.com slash film courage. He asked today, what can we do as a community, as a film community, to help nurture the talents of at-risk youth and to help better integrate them back in the community? Well, several things came out during the course of the interview that Alex had conducted with David and Karen, and it made me think a little bit about ways that we can actually do that. Now, some of the things that he talked about were judges, yes, judges in court that were kind of astounded and impressed by the kinds of work that these various at-risk youth could do, shooting documentaries or feature films or short films that are, of course, being conducted under the guidance of somebody like Alex Munoz. And I think that what we should do is, if a youth, if a youth is brought up on charges, if a youth is brought up on charges for any kind of a crime, which is, I guess, not kind of a capital crime or something like of a tremendously horrendous nature, part of their parole agreement is they have to actually sit with, I think it's called FYI Films, the, um, the organization that Alex Munoz runs. You can check him out, at Alex Munoz on Twitter, A-L-E-K-S, that is, Alex Munoz on Twitter. They should have to work with an organization like Alex's, to produce a public service announcement or a documentary or a film that can actually be used to help future at-risk youth not become at-risk youth or would-be at-risk youth not become at-risk youth. Now, where does all of this come from? In 2009, at the TED Global Conference, I watched Jim Ballog, B A O. B-A-L-O-G-H. Jim Ballock is a guy who runs the ExtremeIceSurvey.org. ExtremeIceSurvey.org. And James got up in front of the audience and he said, Do you know we are not using the tremendously transformative power of video, of film, to convince an audience, to convince swaths of people around the world that these issues, in his case it was glacial retreat and glacial melting on five or six continents, we are not using this tremendously magnetic and charismatic medium to try to influence people and bring them onto our side. And that's really what I was thinking about this afternoon here in Toronto as I was contemplating exactly what Alex could do. If the judges are so impressed by the stuff that these kids put together, let the kids show the judges or let the judges then let the kids show the greater community that there's a better way to do things, there's a better way to live, and there is actually a future for them using film. If film is so democratized, if it's so easy to shoot and make and post and cut and all of that, then get them doing that. Because the ability for them to then influence their peers positively is much higher. All of this comes about as a result of three things, and we'll list them in order. David Brandon, Karen Morden at Film Courage. Alex Munoz at FYI Films, and then, of course, James Balog, the guy who does the Extreme Ice Survey, and thanks again to the TED Global Conference 2009 for that amazing, splendid thought. Thanks again for watching, thanks again for tuning in to the video blog, and as always, I wish for you many, many good things.